Malo e lelei a e tonga kotoa tali tali lelei mo tolu i ifi mai FMG Stadium ki he tau World Cup qualifier a i kale e tahi mo i manu Samoa mo mo lava te fata alofa atu Welcome into FMG Stadium for Samoa and Tonga, former Tonga international captain, Willie Lose. Good afternoon, Fano. A fantastic occasion, and the weather hasn't played its part, but that's the beauty of sport is that you're given the opportunity, and of course, Tonga need to score at least 29 points to give themselves a chance of getting to France in 2023, and they really need to get off to a great start. There's a consistency, a selection of the Manu Samoa team. Tumanga, Yuan, Ala Ala Tor have been a consistent front row, but Ray Nuria, his performances with the ball and his physical presence at the breakdown has been an enormous factor. Henry Timir Stowers, well, the last two games for him in the number eight jersey for Manu Samoa have been terrific, aggressive, very, very strong over the advantage line, and a threat every time he's with the ball. Rodney Yorna, his composure and his class has been a real feature. Well, the Tongans have made a couple of changes, and the first one is in the front row. Falemi and Pua Fissi are still there, but Maile comes in, replacing the hard-working Sam Moli. And keep an eye out for Dan Lolo. What an impact he made last year. The man that came to Waitaki Boys High School in 2010 on a scholarship with Mateli. Tupolotu has been outstanding, along with Kapatolu and Nasi Manu. Sonatani Takulua is the captain and will play at nine. Change at ten with James Fiverr coming in, which allows that pairing of Polakai and Anissi in the midfield, Latu, Salmaki and Kalioni Hala, who played 10 last week, moves to the fullback position. Similar 1923 and 1924, these two teams, the nations were established joining what is now World Rugby in 1987 and 88. Young members, and now we're getting ready for the Sivatau of Samoa and the Sipitau from Ikale Tahi. I'm on Samoa legend, Jack Lamb. Played 40 tests. Will be the leader of the Siva Tau for Mun Samoa. And with energy, they set the scene for another classic encounter between these two wonderful nations of the Pacific Manu Samoa. They rebranded themselves earlier this year as Lakapi Samoa. They changed their logo to reflect the new way forward. The national flower of Samoa, the Tuila, now sits on their left breast where the previous crest once rested. And Takulua and Nasi Manu. The two leaders, Paul Williams, the referee, Daniel Wang, Angus Maybe, assistant referees, and Chris Hart, the television match official today. 
Yeah, all good. The conditions are challenging, as Taylor Johnson alluded to okay, earlier on. But as they say, Willie, it's raining on both sides of the park. Okay, we'll get a countdown on the screen, guys, up here. Bye, Blue. James the favour for the colour here, Tahitonga. It's the game underway. It's gone forward off Samoa. So Tonga will get an attacking scrum and good field position. And that's why they brought him back in as well. They lost him last week in the countdown to the game, and James Fiver put it on a dime. That is a beautiful kickoff. It gives a chance to chase and to put pressure on the Manu, and that's what they've done. And obviously with that selection of Fiverr in at first five and Huller at fullback means that they're going to be doing a lot more kicking than they did seven days ago. Space and balance. Space and balance. So more of a handy weight advantage. We'll see if... Crouch! It transforms itself to some kind of superiority Bye. at scrum time. Set. So 28 kilo Stay advantage to Kalua now. Here's that Samoan scrum coming forward, but they're penalised. Far side. Angle. Angle. One. Draw your attention to the nice top left of our screen. The aggregate score. Osama yeah, yeah. won 42 13 last week. It's a two game series. Manu jumping in the middle of the lineup. We will add to that score as the game progresses. But as it sits, Samoa with a 29 point advantage. Motunga with the tackle on Siwa Mele. Good tackle, Ala Ala Tour. So they are muscling up now for Lemmy. Advantage! And a penalty advantage as well, took a lure. Got the advantage, line. And a little attacking kick, Salmaki. Great tackle. Salmaki, look at the field position. Mark called there, we're going back, blue offside. Well, this is the dream start that Tonga wanted. Exactly what we saw seven days ago at Mount Smart, where they were able yeah, to multiple numbers offside. get dominance multiple in the possession the territory and also with the penalties with that second coming in the first with Tui Munga going in on the angle and now Not they'll ball. just take the points here like they did last week and look at the cut there this is the battle that we talk about the two tribes that go to war never look at this the kick it was partially charged down and then the tackle there from Salmaki men in the red shirts really mean business Dowers with the head gear, James Favar. With the first points for Kalatahi Tonga. Just having a look at Olujuan Noa. Contact with a teammate. Let's open up a little cut under his eye. Well, they're just waiting for him to get back in play because he was down behind the post and now he gets into position. And so we're back to 15 on 15, but good start from Akali Tahi. Just hold, guys. Rodney Yona. Samaki. He's been tremendous. Salmaki. In the last couple of weeks for Tonga. Oh, 
Oh, so vast, Andy. In the pocket. No pressure. Squeezes off the kick, but it's off the side of the boot. So Samoa with a line out in good field position. Yeah, and Salona Mapasura actually told us, spoke to Carl Tanana pre-match that they stayed in the fight last week, but he wanted them to get off to a better start. And they're in a good field position with a good opportunity. Well, Taylor, that breeze and rain certainly played a factor. Australia. Yeah, I didn't think it was possible, but the rain got stronger and the wind got harder at the moment. So, yeah, it's actually in favour of yeah, Samoa. So, that kick by Sakaloa, it just was into the wind oh, okay. and the rain is getting heavier and heavier. But I can Come say on. that the yeah, supporters are definitely out here in force, especially behind the goalposts. It's really great to see everyone coming in and braving, braving the conditions. We just have a little bit of time off now. Oh, we wish... Harrison oh, yeah, Mataheli, all the best. And no, no, it was 15 from the line out. It was not straight. Tremendous impact from Taulani. Last week, tough. Mataheli. I just keep an eye on that aggregate score on the right. 42-16 now, so they've reduced the deficit from 29 to 26. So it's a side drama. Time back on. But the absolute key to this contest. Fine. Take a lure. Forty tests for Tonga. Oh, that came forward. It's a tight head, Rodney Yona. Taifu engages the midfield defence. Are able to hold him up initially, but then he gets over the advantage line. Tom Martini. Ala Alator, the captain. Yeah, great work, out. Yona. To Maunga. Advantage! One. And a penalty advantage. Whoa. Ala Alator, his second carry and three rucks and an offload. Tom Atiene slips the first tackler. And Nuya. Gee, what form he's been in the last couple of weeks, Raymond Yuya. Back down the left edge with a grubber kick oh, along the ground. And we're coming back for the penalty advantage. Falemi never rolled away on the fourth phase. First one back here. Which means that they get the easy penalty, but one. take it back to Roll. the scrum as well. That's a massive scrum in the seventh minute to get a tight head in an international game. Yeah, we'll have a chat here. I mean, the was holding Oh, OK. Oh, right. I didn't see it that way, but... I'll have a look for okay. it, but all I need to see is them working hard yeah. to get out of that space. So there you can see Takalua just saying to the referee that he was being held in there, hence yeah, the reason he heard, couldn't roll away. Yeah, I had an AR and in a really Lala good position, Lala. so I'll take, trust this call. And I'm just pleading his yep. case as well, so a little bit of politics going on, but have a look at the scrum from Samoa. Well, hit the legs, that was the problem for the Tongan side, actually hit legs and then came forward, and then are able to get the penalty from here, and they'll draw level yeah, for the accuracy called, yeah. of the way that Typhu kicked last week. Hey guys, time, the time is still on. Time is still on. The Manusamo scrum really struggled last week, so it's good to see that they've gone back and worked on that throughout the week despite having the weight advantage. They were absolutely dominated last week by Tikalitahi. Okay, okay, so, okay. great to see some improvement there. And Henry Taifu, while well, we saw how great he was from the boot. If, if possible, if you can move just to the side, that'd be great. Cheers. So good for Manu Samoa restores the 29 point advantage that they have. Don't forget the aggregate score, it's the best of the two games. This is game two. We just joined our coverage. Manu Samoa won 42 13, game one. Ah, 
Gets the ball out on the fault. Yes, there's a serious attempt by the sun to come through. <laughs> on the weather, Ken, I can say the rain has started to ease up a little bit. It's still pouring a little, but yeah, it's definitely not as strong as it was before. Remember, Tonga are playing into the wind, and so he probably put a little bit too much on that kick, just trying to match that wind. Time off. Is it? Stole the ribs. Stole the ribs. They were my lip. They're going down. Uh, Earlier, when Henry Taifu took the shot at goal, he was receiving some attention. And then from Vaitongo and Mataaho, the Manawatu Turbos as well. And he really made a difference when he came on last week, didn't he, Willie? Especially at line out time. Yeah, yeah. that'll be a big loss to their preparation to lose two of their starting Just forwards in the opening the 10 minutes. Sehua Miley, no, very go. much like Dan Lolo. Came to New Zealand 2013 for a scholarship at Timaru Boys High School. A 24 year old, and well, it would put all sorts of pressure because the new man coming in, if he does leave, is Jay Fonokalafi. He was playing for Grammar Tech just last week before they actually made the finals of the 1A Auckland competition. So he's gone from club rugby to international in a week. From Have Lulunotu and Hoi in Tongatapu is Jay Fonokalafi. And a huge moment for the Fonokalafi family. And as you said, as Grammar Tech side just playing today in the Auckland competition, now he finds himself making his international debut congratulations to him but sad to see someone like Siwa Mailet come to the field because he really was one of the differences for the Tonga side last week Crouch. quality and experience front row Manu Samoa fine Alala Tor has been a champion front rower. Set! Herman Nuria has been in unbelievable form. Henry Timis now, it's his 8 9 down the right side. Tomasi Alosio with a grubber looking for field position. Solid advancing of the ball from the Money Samo. Well, how good is he? You know, we spoke about him last week and his ability to play on the wing and take the right options, but that's just giving your forwards field position. Yep. And there's nothing better than playing international rugby when you've got backs that just keep pushing the ball forward and you just have to go one way. For Nokalafi's first throw in international rugby and now Raymond Nuria throws that big body at the Tongan defence. Tom Martini for Yona. Team Estowers. Yeah. You've got his support runner who's in front of the ball carrier. Benjamin Nini got there too quick, didn't he? In his third test, playing at Kameishi in, in front of the ball Japan. In fact, it's Noah that was there, but it was Kameishi who actually got in front of the ball carrier. Easy penalty for Paul Williams, and something that's been spoken about all week, Fauna. I know that you must have had friends and cousins and relatives talking to you about just the discipline of both teams last week. It was a terrific advertisement of international rugby. It was unfortunate to have. Been around Pacific Nations rugby for a long time. Fono Kalafi. And the ball won on the ground by James Favar. He wasn't the intended target, but then they can see the penalty. That man that you highlighted, Alamanda Motunga. Man out of county, scored a try last week. 36 competitions and sevens on the world stage. They knew what a menace he was. And when he left the sevens games for the 15s, there was a lot of countries that were saying thank you very much. But the lineouts, that's a problem. Zero from two at the moment. Fiver clears up. But have a look at Matunga. And all rights to the ball. Penalty Samoa. He's a special talent, Motunga. At the end of last year's Mitre 10 Cup, he'd only played seven games, but had had the most tackles out of any loose forward. He is a machine. 
Counties Monaco coach Tyler V will be watching this game. Very pleased with how his players are going. Six meters out for Taifu. The wind seems to have dropped off, and the ball is through the middle. Samoa lead by six points to three. Just another weather update. The rain has finally subsided. Let's hope it stays like that. You can tell just better ball handling as well after the rains have had stopped. Yeah, much better, uh -huh. thank you. Timmy uh -huh. Stowers gets his body through the advantage line. Use it! And Tom Martini. Looks like he's going to kick himself from the base of the ruck. He's outside the 22, so this will set up an attacking line-out for Tonga. It's a simple game, rugby. Sometimes we complicate it. If you get a good kickoff, good chase, put pressure on, you get the rewards, and that's the second kickoff that Tonga have had where they've done just that, and now they're in good attacking position. Nice inside ball, but it's gone forward. Samoa picked up the loose ball to go on the front foot. Tom Martini tries to put the ball behind Hala, who's in good position. Good. Plenty of time for Tomasi Halasior. That is a very good kick with not a lot of angle to work from. Nice job, I'll see you all. OK, numbers now. Well, Toto Akefu said that there's good spirit, and the longer that they're better, the, the longer the Tongan team are together, the better they get. Not a good tactic, just to kick ball away. Half of the front again! Half of the front! Half the front! For Lolo, now they engage the defence in midfield through Nasi Manu. An aggressive carry to Kalua. Ivar shaped a kick, put a left foot step on. Now they attack the right edge. Tonga bringing some heat, opening up the Samoa defence. Lock on, no advantage. Nice rugby from Tonga. Well, five up was going to kick and give the ball back to the opposition who lead by 29 points yeah. in aggregate. He went out and then came back in and slowed the ball down. In fact, it's more now, so 32, because there, they're leading by there. 6 3, and so they chance their arm, and that's where they're at their best. Fine Anisi is a good ball player. He's a good young kid, just 23 years old, and he would rather have ball in hand and run at the Samoans than just chase the pigskin all afternoon. Taylor, you were saying about the teams and the black armbands. So the Tonga team are wearing black armbands today as we take a look at this fantastic run. Met with strong defense as well. But as I was saying, the Tonga team are wearing black armbands because sadly, Kaleo Nahala's grandfather passed away yesterday. So we send our deepest condolences to the Hala family. Five men line out. Over. Nice win by Ipolotu again, mate. Attack in midfield, Tonga. Now a little chip over the top. The bounce is beaten. Fido. It's a tackle. Tonga well and truly on the front no foot. Hands. Fido in our rock. Okay, Samoa able to recycle the ball. Tom any kick from this position just a moment ago. Looks ball. set to repeat the play. Well, they've definitely brought a positive attitude, Tong. Well, the bounce of the rugby ball can do strange things, and it was a nice kick by Takulua. Just put it over the top, and there Fidel thought that he had it, 
the chase from Anisi, and then the clearance from Tamatini. But Tonga, the line out has got a lot better. He was 0 for 2. He's now 3 from 5. Okay, Red, in you come. From the Kalafi. Oh. It's loose and then it's gone forward off Takalua. Just a just scrum. Just a scrum. You're precious late. Knocked on Red. So just those little things working better now. Fono Kalafi's got his throwing arm on target with his jumpers. The weather playing its part as well with the rain having subsided for the moment. And now we get a little bit of beautiful Polynesian culture. You know, every time there's a stoppage in play and the music plays, everyone gets up out of their seats and has a dance. And that's just something so special about the Pacific Island culture. Even in the rain, even when it was pouring Crash. down, they all had smiles on their faces. It didn't matter if it was a Samoan song, a Tongan song, a Fijian song, even a Kabylan yeah, song. They were all just getting up and yeah. dancing. Yeah. Fantastic. Timmy Stowers with the tap falls over in front of Kafatolu. Hold in front here, Blue. Rodney Yona. Stop, seven. Yeah, how about that? A rare era from one of the most damaging players on the park. Osea Salmaki. So that will give Samoa an attacking scrum just outside the 22. Right hand side of the park. Great field position. Well, look at those errors. And they're happening in crucial parts of the field as well. The man they called the Tongan Godzilla in Japan with the Cannon team and with the Sunwolves that you've broadcast on a number of occasions, yeah, no. Fono. And you'll be disappointed because that was an hey, hey, easy take as you look at no he looks like he's gone 15 rounds already and there's only 20 minutes gone hey guys, just keep our eyes open because we just don't want guys going you know this is how physical it is so many players receiving some attention every few minutes there's a stoppage in play Palaumi Taulani receiving some attention and they don't want to see that because they've already exhausted their locks on the bench also another front rower down as well it's testament to the physicality of this match but so far it's been quite an even tussle just like it was last week in the first half hey. not all these legs man contact sport go out or go shopping The game can be very unforgiving, William. Well, Duke Ningi Ningi you know I mean? has just yeah. finished warming up on the sideline because it looks like Jethro Falemi might come to the bench. Yeah. And that's two players in the first yeah, what half what about them? that Tonga will lose. So Duke Ningi Ningi coming onto the field. Falongo Tana Umanga, former All Black captain, assistant coach and running the water today. 74 right, tests, former Wellington Hurricanes and All Black oh, captain. No. Yeah, gotcha, thanks Dan. Assistant coach's role with the Blues. Last couple of seasons alongside Leon McDonald. So just experience, that presence and mana. <laughs> Keep up. Yeah. Valvasa, Manea, Selala Mapasua, the head coach, 26 tests for Manu Samoa, Otago and Highlanders star in the midfield, alongside Tom Coventry, the forwards coach of the Blues, and similar role here with the Manu Samoa quality people. With the Manu Samoa team are reflected in the way they play the last couple of weeks. Tom Martini. Yes. Yona. A little late chip over the top. The chase coming. Salmaki. Back in cover. It's going to be tackled 10 metres out from his own line. Tonga need to recycle the ball, and they do. Now they carry. 
Great job, Di Pelotti. Far side. Winger. Di Pelua. It is good rugby under pressure from Tonga. And it was the man that made the mistake that was there to tidy it up. So Maki, who dropped the ball and gave Samoa possession, was there for the kick that was put through. Beautifully taken there. Took it to the line, Yona, and then the kick over the top there, Salmaki. And then his teammates arrived in numbers. Henry, Timmy Stowers again. Turn Goes over, forward, good. but it's turned over. Fono Kalafi. Takalua for Faibar. Trying to split. Fidal and Alosio. Tomasi. Stop here, Blue! Your... It's out on the full. No, no, no. He's over, the ball's already gone over the line and such. Nice job from Hala. Very composed. Yeah, nice job from Nasi Manu as well, who got the turnover, the 35-year-old. All the experience in the world. He just went in and pinched the ball at the breakdown and gave him the opportunity to kick deep. And Samoa have kicked out on the full. Oh, Talani uploads the ball to Tupolotu. Runs over the top. That's a carry. That's how you announce your arrival. Get out of my way, says Tupolotu, to the Samoa defence. Well, he's one of the most gifted players around. He's represented all three countries, Samoa, Tonga, and New Zealand at under 20 level. The former Wesley College <laughs> student boy has he arrived. I love this game. Yeah. Henry Timmy Stowers. Offside. Well, Broke early. Tactic simple. Tonga gets in field position to give the ball to Tupolotu or to Taulani. Got to wait for that ball well, to leave the got line some big carriers in their team for sure. <laughs> Wonderful array of coaches with the Manu Samoa team. Three, three, three. Array. Here it's five men. Line out to the back. Rodney Yona into midfield for Timmy Stowers. Well contained today, Timmy Stowers. Now a little second man play as they go. Down the left edge. Alessio. Yeah, Tom Martin. You're not short for Ala Ala Tor. Picked up on the tackle line and nice long ball. Nine, you have the advantage. Good continuity from Samoa. Patient. Slade. Yorna. Again, they release the ball. Another decoy runner. Tom Martini. Nice. Keep it in the field of play. Timmy Stowers with the offload. Yorna. Now they shift. Stacey Ely. Samoa turning it on. Great rugby. Terrific seven phases going down that left-hand side where they had so much success. And then the bullet pass from Tamatieni out to his winger on the right and feed out. They keep it alive and then the good heads-up play for Mili. Plenty of open space back there. Nice field position. Hold there, Michael. Michael, hold there. That is the field position. It's Taulani. Behind him, two Pelotu. One against the throw by Samoa. Alamana Motonga. Hard and straight. Alamatoa. Another strong run from the captain, Tom Martini. A ball over the back, now over the top for Ed Fido. They are patient, clinical, and get it done, Ed Fido for Samoa. If you continue to make mistakes at this level of the game, you're going to be punished by one of the great sides of world rugby. And the line-out for Tonga has been embarrassing. No other word for it.
They just can't find their jumpers. And so they've just given possession away. Have a look at this. Samoa getting up and competing, winning the ball and then executing beautifully here. The pass there from Yona was just money. And the man who scored one at Mount Smart says, I'll pick up a second at Hamilton. You also have to take it to Tomatini as well. It's the quick recycling of the ball, which is able to just spread it and find that extra man on the outside. Tonga unable to get back in the defensive line on time. And that's just because they're so good at recycling that ball, and especially transitioning from defense to attack, winning it against the throw. So Henry Taifu to try and get the extra two points. She's going to throw a pass, Rodney Yorma. Good Fidal. He's enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself. He's dancing and moving and. Look at this ball from Rodney Yorna. Missed out three players. And from the moment he caught the ball, it was a try. Fed out. Same again, Tim. And he's jamming it up here at FMG Stadium in Waikato with his team leading 13 points to three. Faivar now. Nene, who has been so good in this series for Samoa. Use it! Tom Martini. Use it now! Bring it out. Hold it. 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 Turnover. Great job, Tonga. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Lift the ball. Got to hold on to the ball. Manu's doing everything he possibly can. He's playing like three people out on the field. Here's Alasio, and another turnover. Welcome to the Tongan club. And straight away, there he is in on the ball. You have to hold on to possession here. And they're getting rare touches of it and just kicking it into touch. And it's just handing the ball back to the opposition. On, 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 A, B, B, T. Over. line out. Win. Backed up. By an equally That's impressive one. drive. You go, no. Tom Martini. With his signature play to put the ball in for some Maki at the back. It's away from the first defender. Yes. Chip for himself is long. Off a short tap again, fit up. One on one with Samaki. Yona. Hold it for Ely. Beats the first defender and the second. Tom Martini. Yona. With a long no, ball for the, the top now. There's a the chance. Head. The one just took it for. Nidia Fomai. Ala Ala Tour has been busy. The tight head prop. <laughs> Good job, Tonga. They're in the right position of the field, but they just haven't been able to string phases together. It's been great for Samoa, and you can see there they're going one each as far as the kit penalties are concerned. And really, Tonga needs to now just start holding on to the ball and building phases. Big 
Clearly, see the turn over here. It's the man on debut, Jay Fornokalafi, getting it. It's great to see the man, the men in the front row, going to work and winning the turnover. It was a great moment for him on debut. Don't mind if you've just joined us. That's the ag aggregate score in the game. It's the aggregate score at the end of the two-game series. We are. 31 minutes through the second game. Samoa with a significant points advantage. Too many bodies on the ground. Tim Estelle is sticking his head in the dark down. places and just asking for a reward. He got belted by the time to arrive there. But have a look at him. What a class player he is out of Wellington and Bay of Plenty. Time with the Brumbies. Samoa. Under 20s in 2014, New Zealand under 20s in 2015, and that is class work from a quality number eight. Let's go, guys. The Timmy right, Sowers, or the Jawan Law, the man with the big cut on his face. They both play for the Hunter Wildfires in Australia, as well as Leon Fukafuka in the Tongan side. Not playing today, but that's got to be happy with the way the men are playing in the international duties. Nice and straight, guys. Nice and straight here. Bitch! Black! Tom Mark. Boy! Jenny. Ten! Oh! He's lost sight of the ball, so Rodney Yona from a difficult situation. Let it up, let it up. Is he okay? He might be injured. No, he just might be injured. Oh, no, he's not. How good is he, though? Spent some time in Spain and England now with the Western Force. But he just evaded the first two tacklers like they didn't exist. Have a look at this. If there's a dancing for the stars in Samoa, he's the next best. Have a look at this. One, two, nothing to work with. And then taken into touch. More time, mate. Well, that fancy footwork is what steered his team Gordon to the 2020 Shoot Shield final and the title as well. So, Rodney Yorna, a very impressive player, as you said, and he's been all around. Funo Kalafi for Taulani, that's not straight. And a tougher line out time today for Tonga. The Putai Kefu mentioned it pre-match it's just the little mistakes that are letting them down like that like the little unnecessary kicks or passes that don't need to go and they worked on it during the week just not doing just getting their main core roles right you can see him there. he's one of the legends of the game and one of the greatest pacific players of all time to taikifu 60 tests for the wallabies a rugby world cup two tri-nations and five bledisloe cups 103 games for the queensland reds he was an absolute role model for Pacifica and for Tongan players in his day. Tutai Kefu now coaching Ikale, Ikale Tahi. He's been in some scrums and line outs, that boy. That's the Manu Samoa supporters. Dance in the rain in Waikato. You know what's funny? If Samoa score try those Tongan flags wave, if Tongan do something good, they wave hard as well. And that's Nikolai Poliaki, the, the second five. That's his brother, John Paul. He went to law school with him, and he loves it. <laughs> but at the moment, one of the Tongan players has just been receiving some attention, someone in the Ford pack, and that's just something they don't want to lose. They've already had three substitutions in this first half, all succumbing to injuries, two in the front row, and then one to the lock. So. It's been a very physical battle. Crouch! Boy! A defensive assignment. Set! Hold! From Mansell Moore. Timmy Stowers. Ian is over the advantage line. Kafatolu with the tackle, he's on the wrong side. Patiaki, Kafatolu trying to slow it down. Away. 
from the Patoni Rugby Club in Wellington, Henry Timis Dowis from the Wainui Amata Rugby Club, a couple of Wellingtonians going at it in their international jerseys for Samoa and Tonga. And here it is, Timis Dowis, straight at Kafatolu. Not able to get out in time. Hold! Nor with the line out win, Yona. Nice little no look past Haifu. You're on another long ball for Fido. Oh, this time he can't rein it in. Just keep watching, keep watching. No, they won't worry too much about going to a line out somewhat because Tonga are having all sorts of problems here. But Yona with that ball that we talk about cutting out a couple of players, Fido a little flat on that occasion. Couldn't take it. They've just got to go back to basics here, Tonga. Try it to the front. That's the money ball. Former Kalafi. Oh. Nini, great job from Nini. And now Nui up, gets the team forward. Yona. Taefu. A little dummy. It's away from a couple of big hits. Yona. Showed the ball on the inside. Goes to the line himself. Slade. Nice inside ball for Timmy Stowers. Hard to bring down Team Estelis. Hold in front here, 3 1. Samoa. Samaki. Fidal. With a tackle. Takalua. Good defense. Ala Ala Tour. And Tui Maunga. Takalua. A little half break. No loss. Okay, last week, guys. Tolani plays half back. And the court just behind the advantage line. Tonga. Holding now. Hold in front. Favar. Oh, nice take. Under pressure. And Stacey Ely on the return gets away. From Fuliaki. Taefu. A couple of big shots on Taefu. Al Alator, his leadership today has been exceptional. The captain. Yona standing still. So they just get the ball quickly to the left edge for my little left foot, right foot, then he offload on the inside and out to Martini. Samoa at their very best. He's under the post. What a try. Well, once again, it's about pressure. And they have just kept the pressure on Tonga to force them to kick the ball. Ely came running from a mile away to actually take it and beautifully controlled it. And then it was the work of Formai that impressed me. I can't wait to see this on the replay because Nerea Formai, he sidestepped about four Tongans here. Have a look at the players. He beats four players. Manu's gone. So is Latu. Then he beats Fina, the offload, Alosio, and he sees his halfback, who was outstanding last week, and his form continues in Hamilton. How good have those sevens players been as Teifu converts? But Nerea Formai, Tomasi Alosio, Ed Fiddle, all being involved with the try scores. Alawanda Motonga, one of them as well. Look at this, just that absolute great footwork. And Alosio there in support and great work from Tomatina, doing what a halfback does, getting there in support. It's fantastic to see. And that sevens program for the Manu Samoa has really, really been influential on this 15s program because they're all just standing up. Surprised you never got more game time for the Hurricanes in 2021. Tom Martini. We know how good he is. Exceptional footwork and he's quick. And reflection of his ability in the last couple of seasons. Yeah, well TJ Pedernada will be a good influence on him in 2022 as well as Samoa through Benjamin Nini. He's been good today. Nini to lock forward. Noah. Yona. So Hala 
And Faber, good shot on Faber. From Taifu, he's doing it all today. Another big shot in defence from Alessio. So they might have a substantial points advantage on the aggregate score. But it's not affecting their energy or their enthusiasm on defence. Manu Samo. You're pinning him in and holding him there. Some beautiful big hits. you got to roll. Taifu. He lined up. Five up, yeah. as the siren goes, it's all here to the break. Okay, but Tonga are just finding it too tough to break this resolute Samoan defence. And they just can't find a response. But have about this for a tackle. This is out of the welcome to my house party. Poor old five up. Asking his teammates if they got the license plate to the bus that he got hit by. Get some of that in you, eh? <laughs> I love this game. From the Kalafi, last play before we go to the half time break. They deserve a try, Tonga for sure. And first, goal was to win the line out, they've done that. Now they need some go forward to create an opportunity for Leaki. Kafatolu into the 22. This is good. No, no, no. That's good. Tui Pelotu making a big impression. Well, they turn the ball over. Don Martini says, let's go to half time. With a strong and encouraging performance by the Manu Samoa. They lead at half time by 20 points to three over Tonga. And 62 16 is the aggregate score after one and a half games in a two game series now. To Kalua. Alessior gets the ball. And the defender at the same time, Tom Martini. Timmy Stowers again, one of the go forward leaders. Slade. And Toma Timmy back down the right edge and now Motonga. Yuna. The kick along the ground and Hala. Yuna. Alessior with a short bomb. Oh, lost forward by Favar. And he's offside on the ground. Knock on, and you're clearly in front. Knock on, and no one is clearly in front. Penalty for Samoa. And clearly none of the Tongan players heard what Grant Dory said at the halftime break, clearly. Because they've come out and started exactly how they finished the first 40. With just kicking possession away when you're behind with that aggregate score there why would you kick possession away why not just chance your arm and this is what it leads to is just errors like this where the player in front can't play the ball but he also can't help himself he's the captain and he just commits the crime there to give Samoa an easy penalty well Tonga now have the win behind them as well so Saifu is taking this kick into the wind and the rain has returned too, so difficult conditions for the Samoan side. Very, very impressive midfield back, Henry Taifu, in all aspects of midfield play. Also, the goal kicker who can hit in defence. We saw that in the first half of the big shot he put on Samaki. Brilliant carrier when he runs. We've also seen him in finishing roles as well last week at Mount Smart. He has a genuine threat. 23 points to three. And of course, that adds to the aggregate on the scoreline. 
Two missed hours. Always available. Ala Ala Torres caught behind the advantage line. The captain, Tom Tierney. Use it! Carried back in! Carried back in! Rodney, you'll know he can't kick to touch on the full. Boys, back here. You got options, Red. So, Volvasa Manea. This is title. So, Lala Mapasua. So, we're going to scrum down here. The midfield back. Here's their lineup on the bench. If and when they decide to change their game up. I assume that Say Lala will be doing a lot of the attack. Coventry and Mahonri Schwalga. In order to go forward and big Ben uh, Tamiye Funa, who was in familiar territory. Minute, he was a proud take. member of the Chiefs. Successful reign under Dave Rennie takes the field. 65 games for the Chiefs, Ben Tamiye Funa, and someone else who's also snuck onto the field is Mahama Vaipulu from Longotime. And sadly, I have to announce this is his last game for Tonga. He said he is retiring. So he'll be relishing the last half he'll ever play, number 19, Ma'ama Ma Vaipulu. Walter Kutch. Fifita has come on as well. Boy. In Jersey, 26, he's there. Uh, yeah, both a little bit eager, eh? Did you miss it? Just missed the bind here. And there's Ma'ama Vaipulu. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Former Chiefs number eight as well, 18 games. So just like Ben Tomiofuna, very familiar with this ground. Made his debut for Tonga in 2017. His 40 games for Counties Monaco as well. So he'll be enjoying his last ride in the red jersey. Set, hold! 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 Just some good meters down the blind. Kafatolu. Good defense. Timmy Stowers and Motunga. And now Tolani lining up their big runners. Tonga. Takalua. So Maki taking the line there. Two Pelotu. He's been hard to handle today, the blindside flanker. No, he's raking it back with his foot. That's fine. Now by Pulu. Tamiya Funa. On the five-meter line, Tolani. Oh. Big carry. Oh. Timmy Stowers. Oh. Uh, Mokko on there, you've got to roll. It's taken them 46 minutes to get into double digit phases. And that's what they're just showing just how good they are when they get possession, when things go right from the set piece. The nice scrum got them over the advantage line. Took a little with a nice run, and surely they got to scrum again here. Scrum. Scrum. This is the run from Sonatane Takulua. Jonathan Tomatini was right, the ball was out. Sonatane just picked it up and there's another strong carry from Filiami Tolani. So strong, very impressive for Counties Monaco this season. Made his debut for the Chiefs. You can see there the knock-on caused by Ben Nini not rolling away. So fantastic attacking opportunity for Tonga. And this is probably the hardest place to defend as a rugby player. A midfield scrum, you've got options left and right. Attacking threats either side of the field. Well, by turn, it's just got to tick and go. Let's not try anything fancy in these conditions. Just keep it simple. They had scrum dominance there with that first one. If they get the same, then eight's just got to pick and go to the right-hand side. And then put the ball in the hands of the captain and let him decide. Here it is, off the back to the right side, but it's lateral. And now Fafita. One-on-one, Fafita gets his team with him too. Matunga over the ball, 
can't make it now, Tolani. Best chance in the game for Tonga. To score a try, they go short. Slade with a big tackle. Tonga, they're lining up. Fita. There's a penalty advantage for Tonga. Samoa not rolling away. And a player coming on the inside, big defence. We're coming yeah. back for the penalty. Knocked it on there. Four blue. And the Tonga no, sending in the big boys and Samoa matching them the in defence. Oh, that defence is outstanding, in particular the big boys that you mentioned, Slade and Nini. Boy, they are putting their shoulder to the wheel as we look at Hala, who is not looking too comfortable at the moment. Boy, that the management might be stripping next because they're running out of players, Tonga. Well, they're making the changes, but I like what they did there. They were positive. They were looking for mismatches, but Samoa equal to the challenge. And here's hoping that the Auckland-born counties man. Well, that's great to see. Two of his county's teammates there checking on him. Jonathan Tomatini, not even in the Ikaretahi, but just making sure his county's teammate is all right. You can see it here, that pass out. Oh, this is Fafita, who's just come onto the field. Took a lot of players to bring him down. And another big contact. It's a very physical battle, and that's what you expect from any Samoa Tonga game. Probably the biggest rivalry in the Pacific of these two teams. Great shot from Olo Jawan Noa. Tutai, Chifu, All Blacks, and Fiji to follow. We're looking forward to what will be a thrilling game two between the All Blacks and Fiji. Our build up begins at half past six, and then the Wallabies in France. A thriller one all with the decider to come later on tonight from Brisbane at half past nine. And wait, there's more. The Stormers will host the British and Irish Lions. And we'll be recovering midweek, losing to South Africa A, which was the Springboks in disguise. Kaletahi supporters and great voice. It's been a thrill to have been all around the Pacific with Samoa and Tonga over the years, Vanuatu in the mini games up here, Papua New Guinea, and of course Fiji and in Japan. And they find themselves in a World Cup qualifier this time, Manu Samoa and Tonga. 32 minutes. Well, the loser of the series will head to Pukekohe next week against the Cook Islands, and we are looking forward to featuring the Cook Islands on our coverage of Pacifica Rugby. They should use Walter Fafita. He's the fresh one that's just come on onto the right wing. He should be looking to try and get involved here from the base of the scrum. Yeah, another good shunt from Samoa. Shouldn't let that go anyway. Guys, and you saw the way that Fafita starts on the right wing and then set. he started edging towards yeah. closer to the five in the set. first five position. There he is with the blonde here, as it was called. He, yes, that's blonde. Um, and jersey 26. Guys, we, we hit and we hold, okay? We hit and hold. Nothing to it, Tabaki. He's not a bad player, player to bring on. And at these times, that's who you'd want. And these attacking positions been good from Tonga no, 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 in the no, no, last no, no. Yeah, cool. yes. five minutes. They went ten phases and then they went six and holding on to possession. Go. Making good decisions. Stable, oh, hit and hold. Yeah, and the bottom line is Tonga need 40 points in 30 minutes. Crouch! To give them a one-point win Boy. in aggregate. Of course, that's unlikely. Set. The reality is they be headed to the Cook Islands unless they can make something happen now for Fita. Exactly as Willie Losse said, the big fresh winger come in looking for work and now they muscle up on the Samoa defence. Hands away! They look like a new side in the second half, Tonga. Some big carries and really putting it on the Samoa defence line. Time off, guys. Fonokalafi's the man who yeah. says that he squirreled yeah. his way through. 
On oh, debut, will he get a try? We'll the round from Grammar Tech. Yeah, just, just give me one second. So he time. believes yeah. he's got it. Paul Williams thinks differently. Okay, we'll go and have a look then. Hardy, time off. We're going to come to you, please, mate. Far away. What do you want, mate? Yeah, so on-field decision is going to be a try then, isn't it? Because you've got it clearly on the ground, on the line. So on-field decision is try. We just lost sight of it just as it got to the line. So we just need to make sure we haven't missed the, anything there, mate. OK, so on-field decision is Troy. Just yeah. checking how it got there. Yeah, thanks, mate. Just one other thing on this refereeing um, panel as well. Outstanding. 13 penalties yeah, in 50 minutes. Yeah, what, what are we They've allowed the players to make the decisions. They've made the right calls, and here he is. Oh, okay. You can see him. He picks Bonokalafi, goes that extra metre, and the referee didn't see it was down, but he did say that he got it on the line. And that there should give Tonga their second try in two weeks. Yeah, no. Nah. So that's the ball up. Down on. Is it short? 16 there, is it? On that. 16 right there, is it? Oh, yeah. Is it short? Was yep. that over the line? I wasn't sure from that angle. Yeah. Paul, there's yep. nothing in clear and obvious to suggest that he hasn't got there, so you can award the try. Okay, so ball's on the line. So shows you what I know. Nothing. Nothing clear and obvious there, so we stick with on-field decision. Thanks, mate. So Try's we all good. missed it. Fono Kalafi with Try's his first good. try. And from the villages of Habilulotu and Hui, on debut, Fono Kalafi. Big-time ball players got involved. You had Fafita, you had Tauma Fauna. Boy, try and stop 145 Ks if you can. And then Funo Kalafi said the closest and the quickest way to the try line is just to sneak it over. Oh, they had Tui Pelotu going at the line. They had Tolani going at the line. The conversion is a good one. And the Tami Fauna carrying. And then Funo Kalafi bullied their way through the Manu Samoa defence. Favar makes good with the conversion. Donna. So Mark. Hala. Able to kick directly into touch. That's a really nice exit play. I just wondered what game plan they came with at the first 40 minutes. That's the Tonga that we wanted to see in the first half, chance in their arm and getting the rewards. It's four men line out. Target Slade. Blow, blow. Coming blow. away with it to Peloto. He's had some game. The blindside flank. And now Fono Kalafi again is over the advantage line. Bevar. Four blue offside. Okay. Four mate. Four blue. Thanks, mate. Ben Nini. You know, this is Offside. good play. Just the way that they're going about their business now. That was Samuel Slade that we saw there, but Ben Nenny was the man that gave away the penalty. And Tonga now just easy meters for them, the last three penalties. And there you go. Shows the quality of this referee. I said it last week with Ben O'Keefe, and I'll say it again. Just love the way that they're allowing the players to make the decision in difficult conditions. And there's only been 14 penalties. Also, the discipline has been fantastic from both teams as well. They're getting on side, they're staying on their feet. It's been great. Funo Kalafi, five man line out for Tonga. Yes! Tonga's good. Tonga's good. Let's the ball go early. And they pull it. Advantage! Another penalty Tackle advantage. Roll. They're not rolling away in the tackle. Thank you. Takalua with a dummy. 
And then he's leveled by his opponent, Tom Martini. Holding. Still have the advantage. Tonga back in the Psalm 122 in possession of the ball to Pelotu. Takalua, Faiva, out to the right side of ball's taken on the fall, bumped off. Great tackle with Fidel. He was under all sorts of disadvantages. Now Samoa counter ruck. Counter ruck is fine. Is coming back no from advantage. an earlier infringement. Great job, Ed Fidal. Out there on his own. Time off. The Tongan players coming at him in big numbers. And he prevented a certain try. Just listen in to the Walker Bearfest to say. warning. The breakdown. Players not rolling in the breakdown. Next one goes. Well, he's been warned, so they're on a team warning now. The next penalty, somebody will go. But Foliaki was the man that yeah, got up in the yeah. air. Did the big don't argue as well on Fidel. How he got up and made the tackle again is unbelievable. So Watch this. He says, sit down, son. And then somehow, well, he couldn't. He's not going to represent Tonga at the hurdles with a jump like that. Well, this is like a brand new Tongan side. They've got their tails up after that try to Onokalafi on debut. And they're just playing with so much enterprise. Going for that crossword kick, we hadn't seen it in the earlier half. So well, can they get the line the out? Can they get the line out right, Taylor? That's the big question here. Well, he scored a try. He'll be hoping to play a part in another one. Oh, for more. Kalafi, a bit of movement on the line, and it's run by Law Law. And the initial drive came from Samoa for the Kalafi's got it at the back. Now they rejoin. Tonga, and they go forward, they just go to ground about a metre short. Last game! Two Pelotu. Nini trying to hold up the defence. They go back, the short side. Yes, Tonga. Back to back. Two Pelotu, what a game, what a half. What an influence he's having on this game. Well, somebody's poked the bear in the second half. And they've woken up. Terry Pilot has been outstanding. The lineout was pinpoint. And Samoa were lucky that Sioni Terry Pilot scored because the referee had his hand out for an advantage. Someone from Samoa was going to the bin. Have a look at Salmaki here. He goes about a metre short. And then they just roll the sleeves up. And the man, as I mentioned, who has played for Tonga, Somewhere in New Zealand at the under 20 level. He scores an international try here in Hamilton. Smart as well from Takalua to go out to the blind side. We had two players in Tuipulotu. He was wearing, he was waiting for it. And Tonga, they're coming back firing. Proud representative of Longo Longo and Kolofu villages in Tonga, Sione Tuipulotu. Having his third test today out of Wesley College. Not far from here. Getting that aggregate score on the right-hand side of our score, 65, 28. James Favar can reduce the deficit to 30. No, he can't. Great work on the sideline by Angus maybe as well. He was the referee, assistant referee, that got himself in a good position here. He's the man that called us. You can see him there on the right-hand side. He's looking. Try has scored. The referee was on the other side. The assistant helps out. And Tonga fight back. Last week, they beat 17 defenders only. In the second half, they've beaten 18 already. Jack Lamb has come onto the field for the Manu Samoa in his 40th Test match, as you said, a Manu Samoa legend out of Malia in Lakavai. Oh, that won't help. Tom Martini now shifts for to Imonga as a scrum advantage. Yona to the line, it's a second man play. Tom Martini. More. Should have got it on the first one. Should have got it on the first one. Blue kept playing it on the ground. 
Boy, those penalties are starting to really add up, and more importantly for Tonga, so is their confidence and their ability to recycle and be competitive at that breakdown area. The line-out worries have gone for the time being, and it just goes to show at any level, if you can contain possession, if you can get your set pieces going well, well, then you're in with a chance. How about big tummy of big Ben, tummy of Funa, getting involved? Well, he's one of the men that paid for his own quarantine to get here and represent Tonga because that's what it means to him. The man out of pair for Tonga Tapu. And it's fantastic to see that the front row is the other ones making the turnovers. We saw one to Funa Kalapi as well before. And then there is a change happening now for Tonga. Naki Tuitabaki comes onto the field and replaces Jose Salmaki. Tuitabaki, he's been here for a long time. In 2005 is when he made his pro rugby debut for Harbour. Played 76 games with them. So he comes onto the field and replaces Salmaki. Good line out. Brennan going at the line. Favour. And the Kafatolu. There's been a different Tongan team in the second half. They make an error inside the Samoan half after absolutely dominating the opening 20 minutes of the second half. Tonga and now Tutavake is on there. Tackled over the touchline by Fido. Seven. Jordan up. And Jack Lamb. Back down the right edge. No, what a game he's having the two blindside flankers. Nice offload for Slade. Toma Tieni now. Ala Alator. Looked like he lost that ball forward, Alator. Now Motunga, another offload, Yona, at the line, Yona. Now Taifu. Stacey Ely with a bit of footwork. Thought about an offload with a right arm, but couldn't make it. Nice ball. Then it goes forward. Now Tonga with a chance. Advantage is over. Taifu from a standing start. Motunga. Yona. Tamonga. Yona. Deep ball for nearly a four mile now. Fido. There you go, boys. There you go. The foot on the touchline. Nice play from Manu Samoa. Yeah. Getting back so. into this contest. Flexing their muscle and also getting their big ball players involved again. Lovely from Formite just to try and help out his right winger. And feed out, but he put a foot on the line. And really, there you can see Kaliani Hulla. Well, he knew that he shouldn't have kicked the ball away when they got a turnover. Tonga looked much better when they keep the ball in hand. Message if I was Totai Kefri, I'd get the message out there put the boots away. If you want to kick, do karate. We're here to play rugby. He's been immense. Kafatolu, Havadelotu, and Hall 4, the villages that he represents from Petoni in Wellington. Played for the Wellington Lions in the NPC. Asione Tui Polotu, the blindside flanker. How good. Big, strong, aggressive. His carries, his physical presence, and the inability of Samoa to look after him. He can put a shot on as well. Tui Polotu, he has been part of this massive comeback. What a game he's having. Sione Tui Polotu. Ball over the top. By Pulu. Takalua. Damiyafuna, what about that from the big man? And they recycle quickly. 
Good, strong running, Fuliaki. Takalua back the left side, Kafatolu. Samoa, they can't get their hands on the ball. Favar. For Ed Fidal in the air, loses the ball forward. Big chance for Tonga now with an attacking scrum. It's pressure yet again. Ask questions. Get them on the back foot, put the ball in the air, ask some questions of Fidal and force the error. But have a look at Big Ben. Started off at the Tony Rugby Club as well. And an exciting talent, Filippo. You now Takalua to Tavaki. It's a ride on the Ferris wheel as Fuliaki comes hard at the Samoa defence. Now Taulani. Big Ben, Tommy Afuna. Finally, he's driven back. Now Favar with a good run. Easy, 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 easy. Great defence, Jonathan. Tell Martini. He really has been terrific from coming off the bench last week. And here, this is a must make tackle. There's the Ferris wheel that you're talking about in Hamilton. And then down that right hand side, and five up. Gets shown the sideline by Tamatini. Great strength. But as Samoa have made another substitution, Darren McFarlane comes onto the field, and he's another special player. Someone that didn't start playing rugby until he got to high school at Church College in Pasinga. Now he finds himself a money Samoa athlete. Also plays international basketball for Samoa as well. So Theo McFarlane comes onto the field. Secure on the ground by Ningi Ningi. Now they load up their big men. The challenge Samoa's defence on the advantage line. Here they come. Tonga. Advantage. And another Tonga. penalty advantage. Here it is. Well, we mentioned at the discipline. He was told the next one down we here, spoke someone about goes. It, gave you a clear warning. One's and he's kept go. his word. It's Tomatini. Are we scrubbing? This, that aggregate score, 65-28. That's the margin. And we've got the time gone alongside that aggregate score. This is it. You mentioned they're loading up their big boys, and that's what they did. Fono Kalafi has already scored a try, and Talma, Talmonga never rolled away quick enough for the referee's liking. And this is good because they've called for a scrum. Numerical advantage, they'll have to bring a prop on and take somebody else off somewhere. And with Big Ben Tommy Afuna there, have a look at that possession. 69% in the second half. John Owena is the man that's come onto the field in the front row. And it's Olajuwon Noor who's had to come to the sideline. And look at that stat. Six minutes, 25 in the opposition, 22. He should find themselves up. They'll be filthy with that statistic. Vipulu's got to take it. Get a quick set. Get off the base of the scrum and just go as hard as you can to the right. Fine. Set. And Vipulu does exactly that. It's an 8-9. Gives the ball short for Takalua. He's going to be tackled three metres out. Oh, the cards are falling. For Tonga, that ball was low on the ground. Kafatolu did a great job to catch it. Takalua wants his forwards to stay short. Five metres out, Tami Funa rolled onto his back. They recycle. They go to work, Samoa. Look at Tom Martini. He's charging. He knows the importance of that penalty and that play they were down to 14 down to seven forwards and they were on the back foot they needed something and they won the penalty well that's what 40 international caps does is it gives you a clear mind of when you attack a breakdown and none better in the game than jack lamb playing as rugby for nec in japan and the veteran was on point He's the most experienced player for the Manu Samoa, Jack Lamb, as you said, 40 test matches, 53 games for the Hurricanes as well, spent a few years at Bristol Bears. 
And you can see the elation on Jonathan Salmatini's face and jumping around, getting all the pats on the head. It's just been fantastic. And the Manu Samoa have made another change. Kalolo Tuiloma comes onto the field. Sakunoa and Lalovaya. And you know, you talk about how big Ben Tamiofuna is. Well, this man used to be 140 kgs. He's dropped back down to 130. So probably meeting power with power. 12 points to three. They're winning the second half. Dominic. Dominate field position, dominate position, dominating time. What they're doing in the second half is what they needed in the first half. It's a penalty advantage for 14 men Samoa. Can't lift the leg of a player in the mall. Four red, lifting the leg of the player in the mall. Something special about themselves in the second half. Tonga. Well, the wheels fell off the chariot last week in the second half for Tonga. And they've shown that they can turn the game around in this particular game. They were disappointed. And they just came out with a different mindset in the second half and improved on what they did. And they made it a contest. Samuel Slade. And, and Tunga. Slade with an inside ball. Awina. Lost the ball forward. Tonga now. Faiva looking for the left hand corner. Tomasi Alessio. tell you some of the greatest coaches in world rugby believe the best attacking ball is from a turnover because the defense or well, the team that had the ball who lost it just aren't set so why you kick it away sure good to get field position but it's just a negative play in my view that's the best time to attack another debutant from the Ikalatahi a very special moment for the Halo family I see a Halo and Fata and Tongatapu makes his debut and the captain, Sonatani Takaloa, comes to the bench. Congratulations to Aisea and his family. Lanya, a good win for Tonga Fono Kalafi. Tu Upolotu. Halo. Looking for Furaki at midfield. And now, Tui Pelotu. Advantage. Kapatolu, nice and aggressive at the breakdown. For Tonga. Now, Motonga. No, no. That one was all right. Over here. There he is, Halo. Out of North Harbour, just looking to calm things down. They've got the numerical advantage somewhere down to 14, and that's the reason why I say you don't kick the ball away. Is that if you get the ball, you make them tired by chasing you with possession. And so now they'll drive play into the 22 and ask some questions. The line out has been miraculous in the second half. I don't know, don't know what's happened to this Tongan team in the second half, but the throws have got a lot more accurate, and they've also made good decisions. It's been a thrilling second half here at Waikato after a thrilling first half last week at Mount Smart. And challenge for Tongas to put two good halves together. And Lolo with another good line out. Win in the second half for nokalafi has got the ball at the back. He waits. Considers his options now being Tamiya Funa. That's tough. Offside. And the rule's the rule. The ball hadn't left the line of touch and your nine's come in to play the ball. He can't be there. He's offside. Just on the line. 
So we're up here. Boys, take a step. It's up here, guys. It's up here. It's just from the line out. Take Something step, about guys. the specific rugby. Samoa. Uh, no, no, about 10 metres. Tonga. Fiji. We're looking forward to seeing the Cook Islands next week. I've been on TV a long time. I'm looking forward to seeing the Cook Islands 15s team on our screen. We've seen their sevens, Willie, over the years, but can't wait to see them next week. Well, they've had a couple of warm-up games in Auckland as well. They've played a couple of Auckland development teams, and there's Talmatini, delighted at the penalty. Gives them a chance to kick the ball out, take some time off the clock while they are down to 14 players. But you're right, the Cook Islands won't be easy next week. But the only benefit that Tonga has is that they've had time together in camp for three weeks. That man that was just on screen, Rodney Yona, he takes a seat on the bench, a well-deserved one as well. He's played fantastic, and he's been replaced by D'Angelo Leiwila. Nice job, Samuel Slade. A blindside flanker two weeks ago, locked last week, and he's been solid today. This is a good drive from Mami Samoa. That's more Tunga with the ball. Now Nuiya. Penalty advantage. Lamb plays. Half back. Now Toma, Tini. Nuiya with a, just a little short chip over the top. Eli gets the ball on the fly. And comfortably finishes it off. Stacey Ely. Take a bow, Manu Samoa. You played the tactics beautifully down to 14 players. You go to a set piece, and then you just slow the pace of the game down. Rumble forward, they had the penalty advantage. And then the lovely little heads-up play with the kick. That was just delightful. And Ely, who scored a try last week, he picks up a double in two weeks. He's special. First touch of the ball for D'Angelo Leuila, and it's a brilliant one. Puts the kick through for Stacey Ely, and it's the bounce of the ball, isn't it? Fantastic timing from Ely as well, and he scores a try. And Jonathan Tomatini, that man on screen there, he's been fantastic tonight. He's being replaced tonight now by Dwayne Politai Bout. Out of Nofoli'i, Sasina, Hemfanga'i. Stacey Ili, proud member of the Hawks Bay midfield that stands today as a representative of Fasi Tua Uta and Sata Puala playing test number four. And Henry Taifu, his midfield partner today. Normally it's Nedi Oforma who's been playing on the wing for Manu Samoa, the midfield pairing for Hawks Bay, but Taifu and Ely. They've been a wonderful combination for Manu Samoa, and the conversion is on point. The interesting thing for me, Fano, leading into this series, is that it's always been Tonga and Fiji that have battled it out because the Manu Samoa have always dominated at World Rugby and won the Oceania spot. And that's why their fans are here, because it's unusual territory that they're in. But congratulations to Fiji, the way that they are playing at the moment. But Samoa clearly the second best team and it takes me back to the memories of the great Samoan side of 2011 with Peter Fadialofa and Pat Lamb. Nice job. Colin from Fita. Colin McFarlane. Kalafi, Fita, not straight. Still not straight. Yeah. So next week, yeah. well, uh, there's a chance it won't be Samoa. Cook Islands, very likely going to play Tonga next weekend. Yeah, no, Pukakoi. That's for the Asian, one remaining Asian qualifying post for Rugby World Cup 2023. What that's been on the line for the last two weeks okay, has been the final let's Oceania go. place. So we are minutes away from Samoa claiming the final Oceania place to go to France in 2023. And then the winner of Tonga and the Cook Islands next week will take the last Asian 
place for France in 2023. The replacement hooker that's just Rich. come on for the Manu Samoas on debut. Congratulations to Boy. JP Sony, out of Moata'a and Vailele. He's replaced Ray oh. Nuiya, who's had a fantastic game. Tuatovao with a play for Filippo over the advantage line, and now they come with some energy. Another bench all getting a run. The Samoa Yona. Gonna put the ball behind Hala. Very clinical from Samoa. They were under the pump for long periods of time in the second half, having to defend on their own line down to 14 men. Well, you can see why he's so good at this ground, D'Angelo Leuelo, who's came on for Yona, is because he plays for Fraser Tech down here in Hamilton. Well, this would be like homecoming for him. Fraser Tech just across the road. A oh, four-man line out and contested by Slade, and then they shift. Mortunga beats the first defender. Three metres out, they go long land. Ball goes That's behind. Two hands at it. Ball at over. Looks like a penalty advantage. That ball's available. And Sony advantage only. And McFarlane. Inside. Last two and a half metres now. No winner. Tempo Inisi to take the ball. Ball's there, use. Slade. Slade. Short. Hands away. Now they're going to back themselves with a pick and go. Now nah, we're short. We're short. It's just a knock-on penalty, so they'll go back for the scrum. Nah. Otherwise, they'd say it was yeah, a penalty. We're right, we're right. For Williams and say they're going to check it though. Tui Loma says that he's used his 130k frame to get over. They'll check. We'll just go On field decision, no try. I believe he's short, so I'm going to restart here with the scrum unless you've got anything clear and obvious otherwise. Okay, so on field decision, no try. Yeah. Checking grounding. So yeah, what they're saying? I thought it was Tui Loma, but it also. No, the Might reason be. why is because he went in oh, with two up. hands. It was No, no, I didn't believe he was. Yeah. So Jack Lamb just Fair asking question, the question yeah. of why it was the penalty. He says it was just a knock-on, but here's the pick and go. That is Tui Loma. You decide at home. Yeah, I've still got him short at this stage, boys. I miss you seeing anything else. That's the tongue and expression when I don't know. Paul, just to say you decided. Clear and obvious. Stick with the old decision. <laughs> yeah, sure. No Boys, try. we're going to scrum here. Nothing clear. Blue ball. Well, this is game scrum number four ball. on this short tour by Manu Samoa. Two very solid performances against a very well organised Māori All Black team. And then these big two tests against Tonga. And the Rugby World Cup qualifiers. Nissan Bolivia Naka, Fijian supporters up in Fiji and around the world. Your team is just minutes Bench. away after a very impressive Boy. game in Dunedin. They come to what looks like Seven. the rain's going to hold away to a much anticipated test match against the All Blacks and Samoa. The ball knocked down. Nothing at the scrum there, mate. Taifu. In a tight situation, there's an advantage for the knock-on by Tonga for Samoa. 25 red. A new advantage offside. Farland marching forward now, inside the five. Now Oina big and strong, and he swivels away and gets the ball down to Iloma. Too big, too strong, and in the end, too good. Denied moments ago, the big man says, oh, I'm not going to be denied a second time. What a terrific impact from the bench. 130 kegs, and he's running like he's about 99, because look at this, not easy. There he is, gets close, decides to pick and go himself. Four out, takes four Tongans to try and stop him. Too much power, too much class. This Theo McFarland as well, drawing in all those Tongan defenders, and then Kalolo Tuilomba with the awareness, picking and going, and just 
collecting the Tongan defenders as well. You can see his mouth guard, those counties' colours. We're looking forward to seeing him in the NPC. But oh, we're going upstairs, Paul. Did, did you see what I see? Yes, I did. It was on the boot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're going to take this off him. This is no try. From the one look that we saw while Taylor was talking. Yeah, thanks. Does uh, does that mean our great build-up comes to nothing? <laughs> no, the build-up stays just a try. <laughs> <laughs> The boot down, down. Is the ball down. No, 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 no. The boot of Kafa Tolu. Or is it down there? Still on the boot. It's just a former Tongan captain. That ball down. <laughs> no. You decided home again. Well, yeah. So it's up now. Still up. So That's Kafatolu. Is, is that down there? Looks like it may have rolled off the inside, inside of the foot onto the, onto the grass. I reckon no try. Paul, yep. the ball is placed on the boot and then rolls off forward. It's grounded in goal. You can award the try. Yeah. yeah. Try's good, guys. It was on the foot, then it rolled off the foot onto the ground. Two Loma. Yep. Time on. The television match official. Thanks, Harley. And the conversion. <laughs> Terrific game of rugby from these two nations over the last two weeks. And Tonga, boy, if they can put 80 minutes together, they'll be a very competitive team. Good last week in the first half, better in the second week in the second half. Well, I've called no tries that were tries, so I've had a shot. Oh, nicely taken out of the air by McFarland and the inside ball that goes forward and they will finish in a flurry. It was a second half that was dominated by long periods of time for Tonga. But in the end, the Manu Samoa held on to win by 37 points to 15. But more importantly, they claim the final Oceania spot at Rugby World Cup in 2023 congratulations to manu samoa and to ikalahe tahitonga for giving us a thrilling series but it's the manu samoa 37 15 that are going to the world cup in 2023 And the captain, Michael Ala Alatoa, is downstairs with Bernadine Oliver Kirby. Well, Michael, congratulations. Not just a win, but a World Cup spot. How satisfying. Um, yeah, very satisfying. Um, you know, the last four weeks we've been building to to this game and I'm um, so proud of the boys so, and proud of the team and the management that we've, we've been able to achieve what we what we came here to do. Um, still a long way to go before the World Cup, so we're, uh, we're still building. Yeah, well, you have to build and I tell you what, there'll be a few bruises and ice packs going on. Tonga aren't getting any easier or any smaller. No, and uh, I said last week, we don't, ex we don't expect anything less when we play against Tonga and, and um, we made it harder for ourselves in the second half. We let them come back into the game and uh, they got some momentum and they, they were in our face and you know we didn't we didn't really deal with that really well but um, credit to the boys that were able to stick at it and um, get some points and get get back on top towards the end of the game when you say there's a lot of building to go what's the next step to ensure that Samoa is competitive coming up for the World Cup in a couple of years um, well I think more games for us would help <laughs> we, don't, we don't play enough games um, you know we've played four games in a row and and, and look what we've done in the four weeks you know so um, if, but in saying that, we'll make the most of the time that we have, and um, you know our culture is what binds us. So um, that's what's special about being in this team. Plenty of culture and support here. Have you got a message for your fans now? You've sealed the deal. Yeah, thank you. On behalf of Manu Samoa, I'd just like to thank all our people back in Samoa and all over the world, all our Samoan people. Thank you for your support. Um, you know, that's, we play for you guys when we when we take the field. So we're, we're glad that we can represent you at the World Cup in uh, 2023. Samoa, welcome to Pool D. Thank you very much for Taylor.
Michael Ala Alator's father was in the 1991 Manu Samoa team at the World Cup. So that will be a poignant moment when Michael leads the team onto the park in 2023. And we're just waiting now for the Tongan captain, Sonetane Takalua. He's with the legend of our New Zealand Sevens game, Kao Tenana. Sonetane, I know obviously not the result that you wanted, but just tell me about the fight in this Tongan team and, and then their performance in their second 40. Um, yeah, to the game, it was... Uh, yeah, we just got to come out, uh, say to the lads in the change room, we just got to go out and do our best and um, make our country proud and then play for ourselves and our family. Every week, though, you've played, you've, you've got momentum in your performances and you're getting better and better. And the thing is, you've got another opportunity to still qualify for the World Cup. Yeah, we're just um, going to go back and, and you know, learn from this every week. Last, last week, we, we uh, make it up for this week. The boys um, just keep coming out and, and keep throwing punches. And um, as you can see, uh, I think we did better from last week. Just got to go work on and um, look forward to next week. Just tell me about this group. How special are they? Uh, it's a very special group. Uh, young lads, and uh, they've got a lot of talent behind them. And um, it's good to see them come out and express themselves. And I know you're very proud to lead them for the thousands of Tongan supporters here, the thousands of Tongan supporters back at home and around the world watching. What do you want to say to them? Yeah, thank you. I just like to um, say that you support the Tonga and the Tonga. I would like to say that you support the Tonga. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.